Hello, would you like to place your ads, promote your business, product or service all over the internet and over 2 million high quality websites? Keep watching and I'll show you how. Hello, I'm Uzair and thanks for joining in. This video is all about Google Display Network. Uh, GDN as it is called is the large, one of the largest uh, advertising platforms uh, in the world where we can leverage the power of Google and the internet to place our ads all over the internet. So I'm going to show you how to set up a campaign all within 10 minutes. It's very easy to set up and as you'll see extremely effective. So, so let's get started. This is the new uh, Google AdWords interface. All you need to do is to click the plus campaign button. So on this uh, screen, you are going to select the display network. So these are the other ways where you can select your uh, set up your campaigns as well. So we are going to display network. Now you get an uh, option of the various uh, goals which you need to set up for your websites but you can create your campaign without a goal and I'll do that because you get all the features available so you don't need to worry too much about that okay so now you got a couple of options here which is the standard display campaign or the Gmail um, we're not going to select Gmail in this video I'm going to create another video for that one we'll select the display network I'm gonna select my set up my website continue and now I'm going to set up uh, my campaign name so the way I uh, set up my campaign name is I want to know where which network this is on which is the GDN, a short form for Google Display Network. What product or service I'm advertising. So this one is uh, advertising AdWords and which country. So I'm going to put in the UK. But everybody has their own uh, way of naming the campaigns. So whatever way you name it, uh, you go ahead and do that. Location is fine. UK language English I'm going to select uh, manual CPC although there are uh, other targeting options as well or the bidding options as well but I'm going to select the manual CPC for the time being and I'm going to uncheck um, the enhanced CPC for the time being because I want to see uh, which bids or what bids um, are getting impressions and I want to control my cost, uh, cost per clicks and the bidding uh, in manual mode. I'll put in my budget or whatever you are comfortable with. I tend to start with standard uh, delivery method under uh, add rotation I tend not to um, optimize it initially because what I tend to do is to set up different ads and I'll show you in a second uh, what I mean by that because I want to see which ads or the which design or the message call to action are getting the most clicks and once I know the winner then I'm going to uh, optimize for uh, uh, best performing ads. Ad schedule is all day start date is fine uh, devices on all devices frequency capping I would keep it at three per day per campaign so you can choose it per ad per ad group or uh, per campaign if you were to choose per ad group and you got say let's say 10 15 ad groups then potentially someone can see your ad you know dozens of times but I don't want to do that I'll set it up at campaign level I'm going to select 
these two options so i want to just show people uh, uh, i want to show my ads to people in my targeted location in the content exclusions i'm going to take out where i don't want my ads to show so websites which are about tragedy sensitive social issues all of these ones gaming websites live streaming embedded below the fold is fine so it shows uh, along the bottom of the page um, mobile apps park domains in video so whichever ones you don't want to show you can just select them and save it and this will not show your ads or your clients ads on these kind or types of websites so I will set up the first ad group as the targeting as the name of what um, what targeting I'm setting for this ad group okay just for your reference um, here are the keywords which have been uh, selected and they are under the keywords tab now the the keywords act differently on the display network compared to the search network they are completely different so whereas on a search network or a, a search campaign I would not have more than a handful of keywords uh, per ad group on a display campaign you can have multiple keywords so Google knows what kind of keywords you are targeting and secondly you don't need to worry about um, mesh types on the Google display network whereas I would never use a broad match uh, keyword in a, for a search campaign on a display campaign I don't need to worry about uh, phrase match exact match or broad modifier all you need to do is just put in um, the broad match keywords so that's one thing which many people get quite confused and then they start setting up all the different types of uh, match types in in the ad groups so don't worry about it just like I've done them uh, set them up and you can have more than uh, one keyword per ad group but try to keep them again very tightly uh, knitted so they are relevant to each other so if you've got some other categories of uh, keywords then just add or make another ad group for those set of keywords so I hope that made sense and let's go back to our campaign setup so now I'm going to go into my content targeting and keywords and put in the keywords I'm targeting and I'll go done so you'll get the number of keywords over here now I would recommend you have no more than 50 keywords per ad group because that's the maximum number of keywords which Google will uh, look into if you've got 100 then the keywords from number 51 to 100 uh, will not be looked into so have no more than 50 so for this exercise I'm just showing you uh, to save a bit of time and typing in in there only three keywords but you can have as many as you like but no more than 50 bid I'm going to start off with two pounds and then I'm going to click on the create ad button uh, you can have responsive ad upload or copy existing ads from other campaigns I'm going to upload and I'll choose my files now before I do that I'm going to bring my ads and I'll show you why I chose not to optimize it so I've got these uh, 300 300 by 250 ads and I've got various designs so what I've done is I'm I've designed them differently so, and they are all the same size but different designs and I'm going to upload all how many there are 10 of them and run them as, as a test campaign 
and see which one is getting the most click so if this one is getting the most click or and I'm getting the most conversions from it so I'm then going to take this ad and design the other 10 or 11 different sizes um, of uh, banners so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them drag them over here and in the final URL you can put in um, the URL of the landing page so they've all come up here now you need to um, be careful about the guidelines and what Google allow and what they don't allow so you need to have a quick uh, read up on the Google AdWords help center but what you need to do is to make sure that they are under 150 KB otherwise you will get an error message that either um, it's an invalid format or the file is not permitted on here so I'm not getting any error messages over here although they will be sent across to Google for uh, to be reviewed click on add to add group I can see them all in here that's fine and then we click on create campaign continue to campaign and that is it and that's how easy it is to create a campaign on the Google display network uh, for image ads so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you would like me to create similar videos like this one with a problem or a question you may have about AdWords then please enter it in the comment box below and I will do my best to create one for you I wish you all the best for your AdWords campaigns and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos bye for now